Hey guys, it's your girl Jay Antoinette and welcome back to another video. So guys, as you can tell by that title today, I have an exciting video for you. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I do lifestyle content and I have a whole host of videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead, give them a thumbs up and click that big red button that says subscribe when you're done. So guys, let's get straight into this video. <laughs> all right guys welcome back so as you can tell by that title today i'm actually going to be talking about how covid19 has been affecting women now a hot topic out right now is the effects of covid19 on men and how it has left some men with actually having erectile dysfunction now because i kept on seeing this and i was getting suggestions from people i was like why not talk about some things that have been happening to women because i haven't really been hearing anybody talking about particular things that have been happening to women now, outside of the fact that um, abuse, domestic abuse, and gender um, issues have increased since COVID-19, there are physical effects that have happened to women after having COVID. One of them primarily, primarily being the effect that COVID-19 has on a woman's menstrual cycle. Yes, I know it's a shock, but it has affected many women on their menstrual cycle. Not only has it also lengthened or shortened the time of having, it has taken away some females' menstrual cycle completely. And I am not talking this just based off of hearsay. There are actual links and facts that I will link below in the description so that you guys can go ahead and look at the articles for yourself. So women have actually been experiencing a case where they will have COVID-19 and they will be expecting their menstrual cycle to come and it just does not turn up any at all. So that's one of the major factors that has been happening. They would just not get their cycle any at all. One lady even recorded that she did not get her cycle till five months after having COVID-19. And that's pretty serious. Um, another one said she was expecting hers to come and it just never came. And she has had the illness. She had the illness like eight months ago and she still hasn't gotten a, a menstrual cycle. Some women did also note that when they did have the virus, that even though their menstrual cycle came, they would have a lot of heavy, heavy clots. So they would be really getting a lot of clotting. And it was not regular size clotting that you can see sometimes in a normal cycle. It was actually more than the regular clotting. So I don't know about you, but that's pretty serious because if we get regular clots and it's so painful, can you imagine just having those really, really big clots? I mean, uh, anyways, so yes, so that was another problem. They also realized that they were getting a lot of clots. Now, some women who have been experiencing or who had what you call long COVID, which I'm just really learning about for myself now. So it's like when you have COVID symptoms for a very long time, it's not really a terminology per se, but it's something that people have been calling it because when you, ha you normally would have COVID for like two weeks, right? And some people have recorded that they've been having it longer than that time period. So if you are having it longer than that time period, they would call it long COVID. So one female who recorded that she had long COVID, she actually stated that before her menstrual cycle came, she would have something called flare-ups. So she would actually start feeling the same symptoms that she was having when she was having COVID-19 before her menstrual cycle came, including her PMS. Now, let me say that again, because some people may not end understand. So including her PMS, meaning so if she had sore bursts or if she had um cravings or if she had flu-like symptoms before her, her cycle came or she had migraines she would have her pms symptoms including the symptoms that she had when she had covid19 so that would probably include like joint pain diarrhea vomiting she would have flu-like symptoms of course of course coughing sneezing all of that so she would have that including that no that is not something any regular human being can take on that is pain level beyond a chart so 
when i saw this i was like no i really need to educate my ladies on staying safe because this is really really serious like i mean i've heard a lot of persons talk about what covid did to them after they had it and how it has affected their bodies and how they feel different like they can't do certain things anymore and um for even some persons they even developed heart problems and stuff like that but when it comes to your cycle and when it comes to your fertility and your body these things will really really take a toll on you mentally and on your body physically so i thought it was just really important for me to highlight these things so another woman also noted that she um noticed that she was ovulating and um she also went to her doctor and tried to you know push her body to do it so he gave her some medications and it was just not working and basically like they talk, tell all women that he told her that she needs to go ahead and exercise and change her diet maybe and stuff like that and she said even after everything that she did she still noticed that she still wasn't able to ovulate and she and her husband were trying to actually have kids so it really really you know dampened her spirits and dampened her progress of what she had wanted to do so um yeah i think that was pretty much it based on what i have researched um it really it gives you irregular cycles and it can even stop your cycle from coming it can give you really heavy um clots and it can also clear um give you something called covid flare-ups so basically you're having pms and you're having covid all over again you can basically put it that way and also some women have actually reported that it caused them to have a certain level of infertility no i wanted to really touch on the domestic violence that has been really happening because it has been reported that much more women are being abused now because of covid19 so that's one of the other effects that it has had on women and i i really um attribute it to you know these lockdowns and women having to work from home and being with their abusive partners for these extended periods it gives the abuser you know so much more time to do things with um his partner that you know are not right but it has been noted by the united nations cdc and all over that this has been getting out of hand you know and um you know i am an advocate for persons if you're experiencing um, um domestic violence you know try your best and get help um, it's not always easy for persons to just take up themselves and leave their partner. You do not know the situation. So I prefer to tell persons to stay out of people's situation. But if you want help and if that person wants help and you can give them help, go ahead and lend help in hand. But it has been noticed and it's, it's very sad because, you know, kids are seeing these things and um, families are being broken apart because of this, you know, so um outside of all the other effects that covid has had on you know just even the world and our way of life you know there's still still intricate things that are in there that are affecting our individual bodies on in different ways and in different levels so i just really wanted to make this with this video to remind our women to ensure that you are taking care of your bodies ensure that you are taking some kind of vitamin ensure that you're drinking lots lots and lots of water ensure that you are wearing your mask staying six feet as much as possible from persons when you go into public places when you are at work stay six feet it may sound to you like it doesn't work but it works you understand so ensure that you have your sanitizer on hand that you're wiping surfaces that even if you have a cough or a sneeze that you are covering your nose and your mouth when you are sneezing and please do not pull down your mask to cough and sneeze that is the protectant and that protects other persons from getting the virus from you so i just really hope this video was informative as i said i will link it down below where i found the information and i really hope it was helpful and i hope we really just take this thing serious because we do not want to be going through a whole another year of having covid 19 it has dampened so many people mentally physically you know 
I, we just want some normalcy so i really hope this video was helpful guys please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it share it with your friends and family and thanks again for watching i love you all so much bye my loves